It's Akila. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, you'll get to see our big family's afternoon routine with our pregnant daughter. So quick update on that. In the last video, Layla was in her first trimester and she went for her very first ultrasound, which was so amazing. But because you guys are so excited for Layla's pregnancy journey, we have skipped ahead to her second trimester, which means she's now showing and also we're gonna be able to find out the gender pretty soon. Not in this video, but I promise you there will be a gender reveal party and today Layla and I are gonna spend some time planning for it. Right now I am just cleaning up from breakfast, which consists of me washing the dishes. I also have to wipe down the countertops and our appliances. And then after I do all that, I'm gonna sweep the floors. Oh, hey girls. Hi, Layla. How are you and the baby doing? Hi, I'm feeling all right. The baby has been growing. Want to come see the baby bump? Look. Oh, the baby is getting really big. I think I feel it moving too. I know, right? Hi, little niece or nephew. I'm Leah. And I'm Wibby. Are you guys excited to be aunties? I'm very, very excited. So excited, I can't wait until the baby is here. Y'all will make the best aunties. And I bet you're going to be a great mom, just like mommy is. Aw, I hope so. So I just got done wiping down the counters and the appliances and now I'm just sweeping up the kitchen. I swear my job is never ending, but I know this is what I signed up for when I decided to start a family and have a husband because I swear he makes more of a mess than the kids do. But I think I hear August on the phone. I wonder who he's talking to. I guess we'll find out in a little bit. Let me go ahead and just put the broom back. Okay, so I put the broom back and I also wanna go ahead and check in on Layla and make sure that she's doing okay because I know that this pregnancy has been really, really hard on her. Yeah, she's doing okay. But of course, mom, we are so excited to see you next weekend. Oh, he's talking to Angie. Wait, Akila, my mom wants to talk to you. August, no, she doesn't. Just tell her I'm going to the restroom or something. It'll be quick. Just say hello. Oh my lord. Uh, okay, okay. Um, hi, Angie. Oh, hey there. I haven't spoken to you in quite a while. How have you been? I've been well, Angie, thank you. Um, how's the farm? Oh, my farm is doing really well. I can't wait for y'all to see it next weekend. Oh, is next weekend the weekend we're supposed to come out there? It sure is, I know you didn't forget. No, I didn't forget, it's just, um, really, really soon. Well, I'm sure we'll all have an amazing time. And I'll get to see Layla. I can't believe she's already carrying my great grandbaby. I'm so excited. I bet you are. Well, I'm gonna get going now. I'm gonna give the phone back to August, okay? Okay. You have a blessed day now. You too, Angie. Bye. Hey, Leila. How are you doing this afternoon? Uh, why do you look so sad? Is everything okay? The girls came in earlier and asked me that same question. Hey, hey, it's okay. Talk to me. I always feel like I have to put on this facade for them because I don't want them to see me sad. But you're my comfort person, so I feel like I can open up to you. Of course you can talk to me about anything. What happened? I've been feeling real insecure about my body. Oh, honey, it's okay. I know your body is going through a lot right now, but like Dr. Harris said, it's a really common feeling, especially for pregnant women. I know, but it's not even just that. I can't even sleep peacefully. And when I tell you this baby been kicking, 
I feel like it's about to come out doing cartwheels. I mean, I honestly wouldn't be surprised. You did grow up doing gymnastics. I understand how you're feeling, but what your body is doing is completely out of your control. And I truly think you're beautiful regardless. And I'm not just saying that because I'm your mom. I know it's hard for you to feel comfortable in this moment. I promise you're gonna get through it. And your body might not snap back to what it used to be. And that's okay. You are growing and you're developing into a beautiful, beautiful young woman. And you can always, you know, work out. It's good to take your mind off of everything. It's a good stress reliever. Most importantly, it'll keep your body really healthy. And I don't think you look like Humpty Dumpty. I don't ever want to hear you say that again. Okay, you always know how to make me feel better. Of course I do, that's my job. So let's go ahead and, you know, take your mind off of the negatives. How about you have a seat over here? You can relax in your little recliner chair and we can talk about your gender reveal party because it's definitely coming up soon so if you don't mind i'm gonna grab your laptop so i can take a couple notes but what is your general idea for your gender reveal party all my friends kept trying to get the inside scoop and they want to be invited to the gender reveal but to be honest i wanted to be exclusive for only the family okay so something definitely more intimate I was thinking somewhere outdoors so maybe we can do it at a park or even in the front yard I'll start looking at different areas yes definitely somewhere sunny yeah of course because if we're doing it outside it has to be a nice day now as for the reveal you know I'm extra but I don't want to do too much so how much do you exactly want to do maybe like a big cake a big cake that reveals the gender of the baby inside. Okay, so definitely something classic. I think that's our safest bet if you wanna do it outside because I've seen way too many things where people are doing gender reveals outside and they light a firework or something and the whole tree goes up in flames. So good idea for the cake. Let me go ahead and write that down. I'll also be sure to check and see which bakeries could do it because I personally don't want to mess anything up. Oh, and lots of balloons and banners. Pastels for sure. Okay, you sound just like me. Okay, I think that's a pretty good checklist for now. So I'll see what I could do with that information. And we can talk about it a little bit later. Okay, thanks mom. Wait, before you leave, I could really use a massage? A massage? Uh-uh, get somebody else to do it. I'm just kidding. Okay, I'll go ahead and give you a massage because I know you can barely touch your toes. <laughs> Livy, I'll tell you when to stop. Okay. I got blessings falling on me. I got weapons, Nino on me. That like Tetris, you don't know me. That my fatty, you don't know me. Okay, hey now, it's a new kid on the playground. Okay, Leo, we're about to head out to the grocery store, and you've been in here all day. Look at you, you're sitting in the dark, staring at a screen. That is not good. Turn the music down. Oh, hi, mom. Hi. Did you even hear what I said? Probably not, so I'm gonna say it again. You've been in here all morning and you cannot stay cooped up in your room like this. So you will be going to the grocery store with us. And you need to stop sitting in this room with the curtains closed, staring at a screen in the dark. You already can't see as it is. That's why you're wearing contacts. Yeah, yeah, but I'm doing homework. I need to focus. I've got a Spanish project. A Spanish project, I'm sure. Let's go ahead and open up these curtains. Because if you're not going to have the light on, you need to have some natural light. No, mom, I like it dark. Well, I'm not going to let you just sit in your room and rot away. I'm being so productive right now. Boy, don't try to play me. You have written one line. And correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't that mean 
Your butt is very big? Yup, and it's the truth. Hey, Leo, your mom's voice sounds hot. Dude, you goofy for that. Shut up. And who exactly are you talking to? I'm so confused right now. Look, the only thing I know is you need to definitely clean up this room because you got open bags of chips, leftover pizza, and crumbs everywhere. Oh, I'm gonna eat all that. That pizza is still good for a few more days. And the chips aren't too stale yet. Well, you about to be stale if you keep staying in this room. So clean up. Okay, okay. Okay everyone, well we have quite a bit of shopping to do, but I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please feel free to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!